Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Is It Awesome? So today what we're going to look at are these Xiaomi Pistons 3. So it's been a long time since I actually reviewed another Xiaomi product and I'm going to take a look at these Xiaomi Pistons 3. So a bit of disclosure, I have been using these for around, you know, three, I don't know, three weeks, four weeks. So they do have a little bit of wear and tear. I ordered these direct from the Xiaomi website in China and they are actually quite awesome. So let's take a look at the packaging. So these come in a little box right here and they actually come with kind of, let's see, a total of around four ear adapters. So they range from extra small, small, large, and I guess it's medium over here. So why am I reviewing these? It's because Xiaomi is actually doing quite well recently, and uh, the Mi Pistons 2 were a big craze on the Western forums like HeadFi. And the third edition of these came out around uh, two months ago, and they, like, a lot of people were interested to see if they're as good as the Mi Pistons 2 or if they're better. And let's take a look at these first. These look nothing like the Mi Pistons 2. Mi Pistons originally kind of were round, they're all fully metal casing, and this really took a deviation from the classic look. Here, what we have here is, the in, part, in terms of the construction, is you have a plastic kind of um, coating here with a metal back. So instead of an all metal casing, you have basically some um, plastic. What's really changed is what's inside as well. Instead of having basically a beryllium driver, now these have a kind of a sandwich, three layers of kind of plastic, metal, and plastic. That's what they have right now. So it's actually substantially different from what they had before. It totally sounds completely different. It's a completely in design. Another thing that's changed is the positioning of the mic. So right now, instead of having the mic here at the Y split, you actually have it on the right hand side. Personally, I found this to be amazing because I actually take it outside with me um, on the go. And having the mic here, right next to your face, makes a huge, huge difference when you're talking. It's much clearer, it's much nicer. Some, in, ta in talking about the mic, um, some people will notice that these have volume ad um, adjustments there. So you can adjust the volume up and down. And a lot of people have been asking what phones are these compatible with? And the answer is these are compatible only with Android devices. So on Android, you can use the volume up and volume down. And on iOS, all you can use is the middle button, which is to stop and play. So that should hopefully clear up some issues with some people. In terms of construction, these are really brilliant. They have you know a nice kind of thick uh, plastic have kind of cloth plastic outing on these so they don't get tangled as easily and on top it's fully plastic i think it's kevlar actually i'll have to look that up okay how about sound quality so these actually deviate a lot from the Mi pistons 2. so what Mi pistons 2 is really known for are the v-shaped sounds basically very very strong bass and very very strong treble here, these are actually a little bit more different. They actually tune down the bass, tone down the treble a bit, and you can hear the mids a bit more. So now you guys have a still V shape, but a more cl like clean, you got hear your mids V shape sound. So actually, personally, I prefer this much more. You know, you don't have the bass drowning out everything. All right. In addition to this, I think the noise isolation is really good. I mean, I take these out all day on transport and there's no problem. I do have to complain is that, of course, this is a V-shaped sound device and it's not as flat, it's not as perfect replication as, you know, some of the Shure series headphones that I've, you know, grown accustomed to using. Why I do like these, of course, is because it's definitely the right price for a pair of headphones. You know, you can buy these now around 10, 20 bucks depending on the website you go on. And that's a big bargain, big steal for something like this, where you can just take it out, you know, it sounds great, and you can just throw them around because, you know, you can buy another one sometimes. So overall, to answer your question, is it awesome? Definitely yes. I've been waiting a long time to review them. That's because I'm enjoying them so much. I do review, I do think this is much better than letting me actually head, well, the, the Mi headphones, the large you know, ones that uh, I did kind of say, you know, 
they had a overly strong V-shaped sound. And these, I think, are actually perfect, and I really hope Xiaomi heads in this direction. Right now, you still can't buy it on the Xiaomi website, which is recently launched in the US, UK, and Australia. But hopefully, um, I'm hoping they put these in stock soon. So right now, you probably still have to buy it from a third party in the US. So thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe below. Thank you.